Okay, so here we have a situation where you have a company and it can exist of partner. Partner 1, partner 2, partner 3, doesn't matter. But let's say partner 3 said, okay, you know what? I'm going to leave the company. So he bought himself out. So he sell his shares to one of the other partners. So he's not associated with the um, company anymore. And you want to inform some people about this. And the best thing is to make an announcement and you put some things in the announcements. That's simple. Yeah. So that's uh, what we're going to discuss for today. Let me. Um, yeah, this is going to be the ending. So your signature. So how would we start with this? So we're gonna start with the subject. Uh, one, two. Subject, object doesn't matter. You sent in an email, you put it as an uh, um, announcement on the social media or how, whatever, however you communicate with your customers of partnership buyout. So technically this is it you put it there and this is how you're going to start so dear remember name keep it always specific if you can if you can if you cannot that's yeah that's not a problem but if you can do it yeah so let's see this letter is to confirm that I am now. Okay, so this is the so this is the first paragraph, and as you can see. Here, it's rather simple. You just say this letter or this email or this announcement. It's up to you. Seriously, it's up to you what you put in here. So this letter or email or announcement is to confirm that I'm no longer that I'm now the only owner of the name of your firm. Given that I have purchased, why didn't I put it uh, here? That I have purchased out of the interest of my former partner name and that he or she is no longer associated with the firm. So in our example, I give you three, but in this situation, if you're the only partner, you left for the only owner, then you, you should say this. But normally when you have a partnership, and it depends really it really depends on the legal form when you are alone most of the time you will create another legal form so keep that in mind that's why i wouldn't put this but um it depends if you are with two people and you say uh, me and the other person are the only owners left yeah so then we have the second part i'm gonna write the second part and then we're gonna talk about that Okay, so technically, let me check the sound because some video that are recorded, I need to do it again because it was muted. Yeah. So technically, I wrote both paragraph. Okay. So it says that we stay committed to answer our clients' needs as we will continue to provide the same high quality products and service on which we have built on our reputation. 
The second part is really important because when there is a change in a company, most of the time people think, hey, this will affect my business or there's something wrong with the company. And you don't want that. You know, you, you want your clients to be sure there's nothing wrong with, um, with the change of power. So I can assure you, that's why you put that. I, I assure you that this internal change will in no effect in oh i assure you that this internal change will in no way affect our company policy or matter of conducting business so that's why you need to put that in it and then here at the end you can put this in it please let me take this opportunity to thank you again for being one of our most valuable clients and i hope that we will have the privilege to continue to serve you in the future and then you put your own signature remember this is a template it's a template you can use you can adjust it however you want yeah if that if it was me i'll put something like this but it depends what kind of company you have or what kind of situation you are in order to use this announcement if you're planning to use this on facebook or other social media platform or in a group you don't have to put the name yeah and i would change some things in the letter but i'll be honest you're smart enough you can do it you have a template go from that towards what you really need that's technique here so if you have a question what you can do is just go um, on this link press join law center when you're in the law center you can ask me a question directly about this matter and if you're new to this channel subscribe seriously subscribe it's it's easy just press the subscribe button and if you like this video like this video see you in the next video